Lacey, shut up. This is a fucking prescription. You're coming a bit unhinged here. You're sounding very emotional. Shut up about fuck. I'm sick and tired of it. You haven't actually said anything. And if people go against those principles, guess what? The support is generally withdrawn. You don't want an audience who, who, who are, are going to listen to you and be, and be sceptical and who are going to engage in debate. You want a load of slathering fucking drones. Maybe you've jumped sides because you think, that if, if, because if you go on this side, hey, I'll get unconditional warmth. This is all about you. It also shows that you're full of shit when you said this was just about reaching out to the other side. You are the other side now. You've been the other side from day fucking one. This was never about you trying to reach out to the other side and start a conversation. This is about you trying to dress it up as that. To make it... Because you didn't want to come out fully. And all you've done since then is play the victim. And this is from a site... Again, you talk about professional victims. Well, what the fuck are you? Jesus Christ, Anita Sarkeesian hasn't got shit on you, my friend. Everyone's calling me a Nazi and a racist and blah, 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 blah. I made a fucking one-hour pissing video the other week, last week, to Chris Raygun. A one-hour fucking video. It was fucking sent to him. What do you get? What do you get for that? I made that point at the end of that video. You make fucking arguments and people fucking ignore them. Now, when anyone calls you a racist or a Nazi, that gives you the perfect get-out clause. You can just say, hey, look at this. You love it when someone says you're now alt-right or you're right-wing or you're a Nazi or you're... You love it because it gives you need any excuse not to actually fucking talk about something. In the last six weeks, you have done more whinging than anything you did in the last previous nine years. Because this is no longer about anything. Because before you were talking about stuff. You know, oh no, I'm going to this side, they make me feel good. And you're on the right team. Fuck me, these pe these are the people who paid 75 grand for the fucking Sarkeesian effect. I think you'll do well here, Lacey. These are the people who give Dave fucking Rubin 30 grand a month. So that's the side you're on now. Good for you. You, you, you've, you. You've now... So so I'm sick of... So don't... Just, please. You know, a couple of years ago, I got in a lot of shit. Because I made a joke on Twitter that was, that, that, that was based around uh, a trans, someone who was transgender. Right? It wasn't the most offensive joke in the world. It wasn't even vaguely offensive. But it was, it was enough to fucking sort of incur the ire of a lot of people. Do you know what I did? I analysed it. I made, a, I made a statement about it. I was clear. I was concise. I fucking spoke candidly about it. And I got on with it. When people had a go at me for that, I didn't turn around and go, Right, that's it. Fuck transgender people. They Fuck them and their rights. I'm going to deliberately go on Twitter now and I'm going to misgender everyone. And I'm going to dead name people. I'm going to call uh, transgender women men. I'm going to call transgender men women. I didn't do that because I'm not a fucking arsehole. Well, I am an arsehole, but I'm the right kind of arsehole. Because I don't do this for me. This isn't about me. I don't need to fucking do this. I'm a white straight man. I can fucking walk away from this any time and my life will be pretty much fucking the same. This ain't about me. Right? But apparently, this is all about you. And if it is, then fuck you. Fuck you and everything else you fucking... and, and everyone else who defends you. So shut the fuck up about you.